So the next thing we were going to do together is to find a way to go from this screen, which is our welcome view, to some uh, to our profile view, so we can finish building our profile and finish our registration. As you remember, we have created a segue between these two views. So if we go to Storyboard, we can see that. This is our segue here. And we are going to use this segue to also pass some information like our email and password. So let's go to our welcome view here. And let's find our register button, uh, register function. And here, what we are going to do is we are going to access our segue. But before we transfer from this view to the other view, we are going to clean these text fields here. So um, first we are going to say, uh, we are going to call our clean text fields function. And then uh, we are going to call our dismiss keyboard function. So we want to get rid of the keyboard as well. And finally, we want to go to the other view. So I'm going to call uh, perform segue with identifier. And our identifier, remember we call our segue welcome to finish segue. So if I click on this segue here, I can see the identifier. So I'm going to copy this. So we don't have any typos there. And I'm going to paste it here. And sender, we are going to call it self. So our view is the sender. So what this will do is to do the transition from this view to the other view here. But uh, while we are doing the transition, we also want to pass our email and password. And in order to do this, we are going to call another uh, delegate function here. So I'm going to call this mark navigation and it's going to be uh, prepare for segue and we have the sender this is the function we need so every time uh, we are doing the segue uh, it gets called this prepare for segue before the segue is actually done so we can do any extra uh, uh, steps here we want to do so first we want to check if this is our correct segue so I say if segue dot identifier is equals and here I'm passing my segue identifier so this means we are calling the right segue in, in our case we have only one segue but just in case if you will have many segue on, from your views it's better to always check that you are using the right segue here then uh, when we are sure that this is our correct segue we are going to create an instance of the view we want to transfer to say let vc which is view controller is equals to segue dot destination and since we know that our segue destination is finish registration view controller i'm going to say that this is finish registration view controller and not just any other view controller so now we have an instance of finish registration view controller that we created here and if you remember in our view we have created three variables the avatar image we are not going to use we are going to use uh, email and password so we are going to say vc.email is equals to our uh, email text field dot text and we can unwrap this because we have checked that this is uh, not a nil then we say vc.password is equals to our password text will dot text now some of you may ask then why we are not using the repeat password because um, before we get to this segue we are checking that uh, password and repeat password is the same thing so there is no point of passing same information twice okay so this will transfer all the information to our finish view controller uh, finish registration and uh, let's just check if it's working so in my view did load i'm going to say print and i'm going to print our uh, email and password so let's run our application 
and see if we are getting our email and password transferred from our registration, our welcome view to finish registration view. Let's open up this and delete the extra lines there. I say um, test email at mail.com password password and if I click on register you see we have um, two optionals here print out and both of them are empty so let's see um, what's going on here we go back to our view welcome view and we check that here we are passing our email text field dot text and password text field dot text and we see that both of them are empty strings so how come here we had the text and it's an empty string there so the reason for this is our registration uh, register user function here as you can see we are calling perform segue so we are doing the segue after we clean our text field so we delete all the text from our text field and then we perform the segue so while by the time we get here our text fields are empty so uh, this is very simple to fix we are going to call our segue first and then we are going to clean our text field so let's run again and test if it's working now email at mail.com and two passwords so let's clean this text here before we move on and now you see it's printed out email at mail.com and password is a password here you see it's an optional uh, it says optional because we are not unwrapping our uh, email and password so that's why it's an optional here but you can see that we are transferring our values so everything is fine here 